here's to DePaul. Here's to a university that for 175 years has uniquely educated leaders, scholars, public servants, scientists, and musicians. From East College to Harrison Hall, to Blackstock Stadium and Royal West, from the faculty to the students, to the laboratories and the senior seminars, from Holton Quad to the School of Music, to the Rector Scholarship and Washington C. DePaul. Here's to a small school with a very large footprint. From its modest beginnings, Indiana Asbury, a small Methodist college in Greencastle, would grow quickly. It would be among the first colleges in the nation to admit women. As early as 1877, it would welcome students from as far away as Japan. And a faculty that once numbered just a few would grow to become a group of more than 200 teachers and scholars who have, for generations, formed the core of DePaul. They are mentors, they are friends, they are colleagues, and they've shaped the futures of thousands of young people. It's a place where you can do extraordinary things and discover who you are, who you can be, and, and equally importantly is, is who you're not. And they say things like, you know, what's the point of being in an environment that offers this, this rich a tapestry of experience if you're not going to get any? The experience of Finding that there's something you need to know um, in order to do something that you care about doing is what kind of unleashes students' inherent desire to learn. So many students who through winter term or through study abroad have been in so many different parts of the world. So when the professor is speaking of his own experience, of his home area, he might well have in class students who have actually traveled to those places, and perhaps even more recently than he or she has. So, I mean, that's magical. There's a special curiosity, a questioning of assumptions, a commitment to ideas, and an opening of possibilities that connect the classroom to life's work. We go out into the world, and we bring the world to DePaul, from prime ministers and presidents to world-famous musicians renowned scholars, and civil rights heroes. This small college has become a gateway to unending possibility. DePaul is also a social place. It's a home, a place where students find themselves, a place where thoughtful students become spokesmen for their peers and where passionate ones become leaders. They come from Detroit and Chicago, from Muncie and Shanghai, they draw on the traditions that have brought students, alumni, and their children together for generations. They battle for a 300-pound relic of the old Monon line. Since 1957, they've raced in the Little Five bike race. They write for the DePaul. They sing in the chorus. They join Greek chapters and start student organizations. Most importantly, they make friendships that last well beyond their years at DePaul, and they develop leadership skills that give them the confidence to succeed. From Percy LeVon Julian to Dan Quayle, from Lee Hamilton to Brad Stevens, from Joe Allen to Angie Hicks, from Eugene Pulliam to Barbara Kingsolver, and hundreds and thousands of alumni like them. This campus challenged them, prepared them, and offered the education that shaped them. Here's to the next 175 years. Here's to learning and exploring and changing the world. Here's to you, Old DePaul. <laughs>